Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a baking video on uh, making cookies, but I'm going to bake them in the sun oven. I'll put them together here in the kitchen, and then I'll bring you back uh, once I take them out to the All-American Sun Oven. Um, I'm a Thrive Consultant for Thrive Life Freeze-Dried Foods, and I'm going to be using their baking mix and adding um, like pureed pumpkin and my own spices and chocolate chips to make it my own so and to you know spruce it up a little bit so i hope you enjoy my video and i will bring you back here in a second when i start putting it together okay i'm back and now we're going to start doing the sugar cookie recipe from um thrive life freeze dried foods so first we're going to add the butter your it has to be room temperature butter and we're going to add the pow on and get it creamed up. And then we're going to add one fresh egg to that. And you want to get that incorporated really good. And the egg was at room temperature too, so I think that makes your cakes and cookies and breads fluffier when it's room temperature. And you can stop and scrape it down a little bit, which is what I like to do. So, I'll do that. And the sugar cookie mix already has uh, sugar and stuff in it, so I don't need to add any sugar per se to it. Okay, now that the butter's creamed, I'm going to add the pureed pumpkin uh, puree, puree, excuse me, to the bowl. Get it all out of the can. I should have put it in a bowl first, but I guess that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Get all that good stuff out of there. Okay. I'm going to incorporate that. Make sure it's, you don't want to over mix it, but you want to be able to make sure that butter is mixed up in there. I'm going to scrape the bowl a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to add, let's scrape down a little bit. Now, when you open up a can of Thrive uh, freeze dried, any of their products, they have an oxygen absorber in there. So you want to take that out because you don't need that. And then we're just going to add the whole can. I'm not trying not to choke on the powder. There we go. Goodness. Okay. And then you're going to chew that back down. And I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. I'm, I'm thinking probably, well, let's do a teaspoon of cinnamon. A little bit more. Teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to do two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. And I think a half a teaspoon of ginger. 
And because the butter I use is unsalted, I'm going to put just a tad of sea salt in there. Not very much. Okay. And I'm going to mix that up, put it on low. Kind of like your flour. And it's coming together. Wow, that's going to be really, really fast. Look at that beautiful color. I love it. You don't want to over mix cookie dough or cake batter or anything. I think I need another spoon, smaller spoon. Get that off of that spatula or blade, I should say. Okay. Of that. Now the chocolate chips, I'm going to stir in by hand because I don't want them all. All broken up inside the cookies. Okay, so I've got my chocolate chips already in a bowl, so I'm just gonna dump them in there. And they're semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then we're just gonna fold them in. Perfect fall cookie. And then I'm going to drop them by rounded spoonfuls. Uh, probably a tablespoonful on my um, parchment sheet uh, trays that go in my sun oven and then I will bring you back when I've got them in the sun oven uh, ready to bake okay see you in a minute okay guys I'm back I got the one tray of the um, pumpkin sugar cookies put in the sun oven um, I'm kind of new at this still so I'm hoping y'all can see that okay. And because the oven's at 300 degrees right now. So I'm going to close it up and we're just going to do a test, a test uh, run with this first. Because I'm not sure how much the cookies are going to spread out. And uh, we'll see how long it takes and I'll bring you back. Okay, here's the test batch that I did of the pumpkin sugar cookies with chocolate chips using the Thrive Life. Uh, baking mix, sugar cookie mix, and they turned out great. These, this test took about 30 minutes, and they're still, they're soft on the inside. They're not raw, but they're soft. They're really good. Um, the second batch I have in right now, I'm gonna let go just a little bit longer because it does take longer in the solar oven than your regular conventional oven. So when those are done, then I will bring those back to you, and then we'll see how they are. Okay, the rest of the cookie mix, I decided just to put in a pan because we're kind of getting some clouds and I'm not sure how long it's going to take. So I decided to just put it in a pan and bake it uh, like a brownie, basically, and just cut it in squares. So that's what's in the oven now. So I'll bring you back when it's all done. See ya. Okay, I'm back. I finished the last of the cookie dough mix in a square pan, so it's kind of like brownies. Um, they turned out beautiful. It took took almost an hour for it to finish because uh, it's kind of cloudy here today. So, but I'm happy with the result. Um, can't wait to try it, and the cookies turned out great. So, if you enjoyed this video, which is my first video, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, and uh, please subscribe and um, look forward to the next day or so for my next video. So thanks for watching.